Good day, YouTube. It's Brett here from Overtime Gaming with you once again, and welcome back with our second episode of our off-season for the MLS franchise mode here. And you see, we're making some bids for some more defenders. Uh, a couple of them, the guys you are, you told me about, like Reyes and Malguero. Now, how the how do I spell Loren say Lorenzo Malguero or whatever? I know he's a Liverpool target in real life, so let me know how I say it. We're just going after a lot of players here, trying to get players to sign for us. Um, you see, we signed Gary Hooper in the last episode, of course. The same with Carvajal, uh, Asenjo as well. But Caceres is just turning down everything we can offer him here. So we're going to offer him one last contract, which would be 120,000. Huge contract. And uh, definitely not worth it, I'm going to be honest. But we do need some more centre-backs now, especially with Sal Salin and Moira Beasley. But you see, we get a transfer offer accepted here for Luke Shaw. Hopefully he'll come because he's not classed as a first-team player for Southampton. So hopefully we can pick him up. Um, we also get our bid for Ashley Williams here accepted. So he would definitely strengthen our centre-back our center -back partnership with Omar Gonzalez. He'd be a great experience piece to be at the back there. And a sort of player we really do need. Our bid for Diego Reyes is also accepted. He'd be a young player for the future. He'd probably sit on the bench this year. And then come more into things next year. We'll probably look to offload Ashley Williams if we do get him at the end of the season. Um, so in the January transfer window. Uh, up, So a year from now. Uh, just have him as experience this year. And then play someone like Diego Reyes next year. Our contract offer for Ashley Williams is accepted. So he becomes our next signing. Exactly the sort of player we needed. We also pick up Diego Reyes. So we get two centre backs there. And one, one quick swoop. Exactly what we needed. Now, as we push forward to transfer deadline day in a couple of days, we also had our bid for Luke Shaw turned down, so we had to pull out of that deal. But our transfer offer for uh, Lorenzo Malguerajo, how, how, let me know how I say it in the, con in the comments below, um, accepted. So we've got to offer him a contract now. We'll quickly up it just to see if he does want to come at all. And uh, we offer him that contract. He turns that one down by the looks of it. So we, um, we will have to come back for another one in a minute. You see, we pick up our new signings there as we move into transfer deadline day now. Uh, only one day left the transfers. I prefer transfer deadline day because everything is done very quickly. But our contract offer is accepted for Lorenzo there. So we pick up our left back to play the whole of this season. Exactly the signing we needed. We do accept that deal. So our defence is completely solidified now. Our team is pretty much solidified. We just go for that substitute striker now in Morata. The young under-21 striker for Spain. Fantastic in the Spain, in the under 20 European under 21s for Spain. So we go after him on a loan deal with an option to buy at the end of the season. And uh, Real Madrid hopefully will accept that. Um, and they are thinking it over now. They take longer to think it over because of the fact that we put in a loan to buy option. But they do accept it. So we have him for the whole of this year. And if he makes an impact, we do have the option to buy him at the end of the season. So it's a great bit of business for us. It just strengthens us up front with Gary Hooper, Eddie Johnson and now uh, Morata. So we've got three good strikers there now. We also put in a bid for Pablo um, Osvaldo here. We could get him for quite a decent sum of money. 11.5 mil is not too bad. Um, and we also go back to Roma now for Marquinhos. A young centre-back, 18-year-old centre-back again. Would be the same as Diego Reyes. Sit on the bench this year and then possibly play next year. Um, and they both can play Diego Reyes and Marquinhos. Can both play centre defensive midfield. So if we want to get rid of Veloso in the next transfer window, we are able to. Uh, you see our bid for McQuinnis and Pablo Osvaldo here, of course, is a Southampton target in real life. Um, are both accepted, so we offer them both contracts. Osvaldo would allow me to drop Eddie Johnson and sell Eddie Johnson in the next transfer window, but he's not a necessity. We don't have to pull off that deal. You see the time's ticking away, only two hours left now, so we have to wrap everything up quickly. But Pablo Osvaldo turns down a deal from us. So we aren't going to sign Pablo Osvaldo this transfer window. We may next transfer window. But we are going to sign McQuinnos. A great signing for us. Another great young defender for us to have. And exactly the sort of signing we need. We are now a far stronger squad this year. And for the upcoming season, um, the future as well. So we made some great signings. As you see the final hour of the transfer deadline day tick past. And that is the end of the transfer window. So I hope you're looking forward to our next episode, which will be on Friday, where we will start the regular season for this uh, and do the month of March in this series. 
Hope you've all enjoyed things and uh, let me know what you think of all the signings and peace out YouTube. We're heading into overtime.